L14. Do the demon require the beatific vision? Do the demon and demons of L claim the beatific vision? I would say that this question is one of the most important in understanding the attitude and behavior of the demon and demons from L. The reality is that they get all the material goods in L that God could provide for them. The two things they lose ultimately is the beatific vision, they do not see God face to face, and on the other hand, they have no neighbors since they are deeply selfish and proud, and even if they are together, it is not a neighbor, they despise each other. The consequence of all this is that they get a deep imbalance in them. They discover with absolute precision that their art is not neutral. It means that their art arts is an abyss made to see God face to face. They discover this and it is perfectly clear to them and therefore as a result they begin to claim the beatific vision but not from love. We must not believe that they desire the beatific vision out of love. If they wanted it out of love they would obtain it since it is obtained through a kind of marriage of love or an intimate alliance they desire it solely out of lust it means that lucifer it was the beginning of his revolt wanting it because he considered that he deserves it and all the work he does with mankind trying to damn them, especially women who are treasures who can get the most humility and love by disposition that would be to revolt all of humanity. Therefore, God may well see that no one wants his plan based upon humility nor love so that everyone asks him for the beatific vision because we have a right to it. He made spirits out of us, but a spirit desires to see the origin of the cause. This is quite normal, therefore he must give it to us. This is Lucifer's project that makes him work. It may be a project. We know this as Christians to be absurd because it is as if he thinks that God asks us to be humble and to love him out of whim in order to stay with him up and put us here as he said to Adam and Eve such a project would infer that God wishes to dominate us the reality is however elsewhere and certainly not Lucifer's project it is that God cannot do otherwise which appears weird he who is all-powerful but no he is not all-powerful in the sense that he cannot alter his trinitarian nature it means that he is infinite and in his trinitarian life each person puts the other forward and is infinitely humble to put the other in the limelight above himself so the reality is if you see god you see this which is a consuming fire if we do not come before him with a very small art kenosis which simply cannot bear nor tolerate his presence so no one can see god without dying what does this signify now what the devil and the demon are calling for is the beatific vision is called nonsense this is also presumption this means that they want to obtain a good advantage while refusing the associated conditions it is an absurd revolt however if they ever understood that it was absurd they would lose all their energy so it's an advantage that they feel that there is some hope and that i am incorrect in saying that they are still fighting in an attempt to damn as many humans as possible where is to understand their work precise rigorous permanent of the demons and the damned to lead us towards hell you have to understand that they have one remaining hope that of the beatific vision